What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Sneaker Rabbit YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications, that way you're notified every time we drop a new YouTube video. If you want to support us further, head over to SneakRevival.com and shop our catalog of clothing and shoes along with our sneaker cleaning products. That being said, let's get right into it guys. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about what it's like to go to a sneaker event as a vendor. And uh, we went to one recently back in March and this was our first one. and. We really didn't know what to expect and uh, really how to necessarily prepare for it and things like that. So in this video, hopefully we can answer some of the common questions or just what to expect uh, going to a sneaker event for the first time as a vendor. All right, so back in March, um, we set up this event and uh, we, you know, got in contact with the host of the event and paid um, to reserve our spot, it was uh, $75. And then um, we also put in some money to, for some product material, which was about $30. Um, and then we bought this banner um, with our company logo on it for the event. So that was another $30. So going into the event, we had already originally invested $130 or $135. The event um, itself opened at noon and we were allowed to come at 10 o'clock and kind of set up two hours in advance. Um, when we got there, you know, uh, they give you a wristband and um, the guy kind of showed us our tables. And um, from there, we kind of had to figure out kind of how we wanted to set up our table. We really didn't have that prepared, but we kind of brought everything in and um, it took us about 30 minutes maybe to set everything up and get everything ready. And then we um, went on uh, to get the card payments ready. And I um, texted um, the group of people we were with um, the pricing list. So after that, we were pretty much set up and ready to go. And at 12 o'clock, people started coming in and it really didn't pick up heavy traffic until about maybe um, around one or two o'clock. And, uh, you know, we saw a lot of cool uh, shoes out there. A lot of people had unique pairs of shoes. Um, and we were kind of set up in a nice little spot right in the front. So, um, wasn't too bad. Um, we had some friends and uh, family come there and uh, show their support. And that was nice. Um, and then, um, you know, it slowly started. To, it slowly started to kind of wrap up around uh, four four thirty to five o'clock, and people started packing up and just kind of heading out. And at first we were gonna sit it out till six cause that was the, you know, time it shuts down. But uh, we just kinda saw everybody was leaving and we just kinda decided to head out too cause um, there really weren't too many people left uh, at that point. So, so at the end of the day, we sold three bottles of our shoe cleaning product and that came out to $45. We sold a snapback, um, fifteen dollars, uh, with a profit of seven dollars and thirty-six cents. Um, a hoodie, born fly hoodie, thirty dollars, with a profit of fifteen sixty-one. Um, our uh, creative recreation um, custom Cesario lows for seventy dollars profit of $35 and a pair of Kyrie 6 shutter shades um, for $65 with a profit of $30. So that leaves us um, making $225 in total, um, but $132.97 in profit. So, um, with the cost of the event um, being $130, that leaves us with a 
profit of two dollars and ninety seven cents so was it worth it yeah I think so um, you know even though after all the cost technically we only made three dollars um, getting our name out there and getting our product to new customers uh, it makes it worth it on top of that we were able to move some product that had been sitting for a little bit and to get generally involved in the sneaker community is a plus too so um, some of the things I do different next time is to come more prepared you know um, we had to get some stuff ready right beforehand and um, one thing we weren't able to do which we should have been doing was clean shoes um, we didn't have like a any system set up uh, to do it and uh, we just didn't have that prepared uh, so next time we will definitely have that that and just having more product like we we needed some more shoes and so we we've recently invested in stacking up on more shoes for the next time we do uh, a sneaker event so we're prepared we're preparing well in advance now as compared to this first time we were kind of winging it we uh you know uh, booked the reservations only a couple weeks in advance um, prior to the event anyway so we were definitely uh not as prepared as we should have been for this one other than that things went great everybody had a good time and we were doing something good for our business so overall it was a success even though we only made three dollars um but yeah so that's our uh kind of experience with our first event going as a vendor you know what it was like what we made you know what we sold uh you know everybody else was doing good and uh it was a good uh experience to have being a part of that community if you haven't gone to one i definitely recommend getting out there and go uh going in and having that experience for yourself because uh it's definitely um definitely fun all right i think that'll about do it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed uh if you haven't already hit that subscribe button again thanks for watching hope to see you guys next time